Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. BTC Simmer with you. Today we're doing a full startup procedure. Everything besides the beta, beta testing, whatever you want to call it, um, or any of the reverse stuff. But we're going to go right from the manual and do the full full startup procedure and then we're going to fly over to BIAR. So we've planned that through a sim brief. We have three passengers going to BIAR and then a bunch from there going back to Keflivac. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the plan. Um, uh, the VATSIM has VPILOT, there's Scotland Centre and Euro 1 FSS, so the thing that really concerns us. Yeah, so that's 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 the plan today. We're uh, B I B L L A A R and B I A R for runway one nine over there. We're gonna use zero three here. Um, we have sixty one percent, two hundred seventy four gallons of fuel, and the flight's about sixty two nautical miles, and we're gonna go up to nine thousand feet. So short one, short and sweet, and. Um, yeah, if you guys want to watch my walk around video, I did an extensive walk around. Uh, Merge the video, sim crash. You can see it crash about the 18 minute mark. Last video there. I've had a I've had a few crash issues lately this week. Last in the end of last week there, but yeah, I went uh, went over the whole the whole plane and everything and engines, wings, everything. So have a look if you want to see that. See exactly how the walk around's done. And then today we'll go right through the startup procedure. So all the procedures you'd need to get going right from the manual. As far as uh, being realistic, uh, it depends how realistic the Aerosoft extended manual is to the real thing. I know some things aren't modeled, but it should go pretty well. So stay tuned and we'll get to her. So yeah, we have three passengers, uh, no cargo. Should be a should be a good flight. It's a VFR day, um, which reminds me, I gotta turn on the Rex Weather. <laughs> Was a VFR day. Well, from at our TAF, it looked like it said. Uh, that's the Rex introduction. <laughs> from at our TAF, it looked like it said uh, VFR conditions. So. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's get those cargo doors shut. And get the captain's door shut here. Okay, so I'll just inject that weather. Forgot to do that beforehand. It's not something I'm used to. Start, uh, start, yes. Okay, so it's injecting that now so we can get set up here. Get going on this. Yeah, it's just an external program that, uh, Inject the weather with, like traditional rec stuff. Real environment extreme. Hmm. Well, the VFR day changed a bit, but uh, anyway, still VFR light rain, and I booked an IFR plan anyway, so, so we're good. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with control lock again. That out of the way. Parking brake is set. Yes, it is. Fire handles are in. Come up here to the fire handles. Both appear to be in. Emergency fuel switch is normal. Normal and normal. Emergency pumps off. Aft and forward are off. Fuel selector normal. It's normal. Boost pumps off. They are off. Static source, normal. That's down here. Norm, you can go to emergency or normal. Uh, vent fan, off. We know where that is down here. No power, so it's okay. Inverter switch, I believe that's up behind you here. I don't think it's modeled though. Right here. 
inverter switch select one or two so it's on one by default and yeah it's not modeled you can't none of this well these lights are but none of this stuff's modeled so de-icing switches off so we'll jump up to the panel here and they appear to be off cabin lighting and signs set so we can go no smoking fast and belts <coughs> turn on our reading lights entrance lights flight compartment lights however they won't turn on until we turn the power on anti-collision light on and bleed air switches off those are off pedo heat's off it's off Generator switches off, they are off. Bus ties normal, this one here. Flap handle is up. Yep, you can see it right at the bottom here. It is up. Fuel levers are off. It's appear to be off. Propeller levers full forward and then feather. So full forward and then feather. Okay. Power levers, flight idle, yes. Go full. No. There. The windshield heat wipers off. Those are over here. They are all off. Landing lights off. Those are right there. They are off. And ignition switch normal. It is normal. DC master on. Uh, hold on now. Set that to battery, then DC on. External battery. Bus voltage check, 18 volts minimum. It's down here. Just hope we don't get a crash, that's all. Wouldn't you need your generators on for this? Or am I looking at the wrong thing? I don't believe so. Caution lights checked, so what do we got here? Boost pump generators, da -da 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 -da. fire detection test. So we'll do our test here. Okay, it appears to work. Fire bell mute on then off. Um, where is the fire bell mute? That on the upper panel? Ba -ba -ba. Not exactly sure. Anyway, fuel quantity, we'll check that out. Appears okay. Fuel quantity indicators checked. Alright. So that's the first page, that's page 134 of the manual. We'll go cross feed checks. We'll go boost pumps on. Okay, fuel selector both on forward. Oops. Both on forward. <coughs> boost pump one forward press light out. Yeah, they are out. The aft ones are on. That's what it says. And then both on aft. And then, yeah, you got the opposite thing here. Uh, so that's your test there. And boost pumps off, and then fuel selector back to normal. Emergency pump check. Standby boost pump, emergency forward on. So. Boost pump one forward on. Boost pump one forward two out. Stability boost pump emergency forward. Off. Emergency aft on. I'm just doing this just how it says here. Boost pump one aft. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not. 
boost pump two aft. Huh. Okay, off. Okay, boost pump check. Boost pump forward test. Green light. Oh, press light. Oh, on and then press light out. Yep. Yeah. And then you do the same with this one. Uh, lights. We got lights. Okay, and then check your hydraulic pressure gauges. They look good. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, engine start. Fuel levers off. They're off. We just checked them. Props. Full forward feather. Full forward. Power levers idle. They are idle. Boost pump forward aft on. Turn them both on. Kind of what it says. It just says FWD and then a uh, slash AFT. So start switch engine right. Go up to our start switch here. Go engine right. We know this procedure here, guys. We've done this lots. And it says NG 12%. You want your fuel lever right to go in. So so there it is, up around 10. And we can go ahead and put it in. And our prop lever right, full forward. Okay. Start switch engine left. Same procedure over here. Okay, we let that build up. And there she goes, and then up comes our prop. Roll forward. And our generators, turn those on. Generator left, right on. Okay. Load below 0.5 amps. Okay, I'm not sure what I just looked at, but that's that. And we'll hit our avionics kill switch, turn on the avionics. Now it says after engine start, compass and gyros check. Or gyros, I should say. Gyros, gyro, I don't know. 800 k that looks like it lines up there. We'll put our runway heading in, 028. Somewhere over there. Go ahead and program our altimeter. Two nine two nine. Wow. Real low pressure. Put in our flight altitude. Same standard things I do. My regular flights here with a quick checklist. 9,000. It's got our altitude in there. We got our heading, runway heading set. Altimeter configured. Let's go back to the checklist. Caution lights check. They look all right. Altimeter and clocks set. Yeah, that's done. Okay, next is taxi checks and then taxi. So we're going to go over here and program our route. Oops.
Okay. LA. You know what? We're going to go, instead of going to LA, we're going to go right to AR. Skip going to LA. It's kind of in the middle of the mountains there. I don't we're just going to go right to AR, which is the NDB outside of BIAR. Is our Accurilier, I, <laughs> good luck of me saying that. Right, GPS. Not sure what that is. Show sure a pager in here. Or even how to get out of it. <laughs> anyway, well, I guess we're stuck in that page. To do point eight. Looking for one fourteen point eight over there. <coughs> Nine thousand. Transponder on. And it'll go three four four and three three four. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> three four four. Did I say? Yes, I did. <laughs> Doesn't let you out of there. Four, four, and three, three, four. All the way down, that's AR. The other one is LA, so passing by that. Okay, we'll just have a look at our battery test here. Light comes on, it's in the red, and we'll turn on our flight recorder, another look at our hydraulics, looking good. I don't know why it keeps defaulting to this view. This is stuck here. Oh, that's fine. I would like my map. I would like my map. map 94 okay it's 280 eh? that's what we were saying 94 for this there we go
Double check Vatsim. Scotland Center and a few others on, but nothing for here. Londis traffic, uh, November 3, 4 Kilo Hotel, type twin order, taxiing from the ramp to runway 03, uh, Londis traffic. Okay, so now we'll come back to taxi checks. Signs as required, yeah, they're fine, brakes, check them. Okay, and next will be a run-up. I wonder if we can spin left or right here. Maybe we'll go right. Left, sorry. I believe we've got to meander through these two airplanes to get to the runway. Taxi lights on, that would be good. Navigation lights on. Would also be good. You know what I messed up on? Looking at it right now. <laughs> runway heading. 028, not 280. I'm looking and I'm thinking, what the? This is runway 03, right? So, there. Looks more righter. I'll be down that way. See the nose wheel steering there? So we'll do the feather check as well. The run-up check just says parking brake set, but I believe there's more to it. Well, I, I know there's more to it. <laughs> there's our VFR day. Nice transition for Rex. Okay, we'll do that right on the runway here. <coughs> okay, so we'll hold the brakes, parking brakes set. Propeller levers, retard to feather, NP approximately 23. So we'll be looking right here, approximately 23. Bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Okay, that's feather and nothing moved. Add in some throttle. Okay. And they didn't move at all. I went all the way back and then forward. Did the proper reset light come on? Negative. Propellers full forward. I don't know what's going on with that. Better range, we're not doing that. Better backup test. Propeller governor test. Idle. Prop levers idle. So there they are. 
full forward gov test switch on. I'm not even sure where that switch is. <laughs> Power lever is a fence, NP governs at approximately 70%. Doesn't let you click any of these. So sit down here. I guess before shooting the video, I should know where the stuff is, eh? I really hit the switch though. There. Now let's see. So. Full forward, on, power levers, advance, and should govern it around 70. Oh, it's not doing anything as such. It's letting them go right up. Alright, well, that was that. Okay. Power levers idle. This is the auto feather test now. Power levers idle. Prop levers full forward. They are full forward. Auto feather on. Push on off select. Select light on. Power levers advanced 25 psi torque. A little higher. 25 psi torque, okay. Auto feather test switch on. That down here. Auto feather test switch on. Arm light on. Arm light's not on. Power lever left idle. Left propeller feathers, let's see. There's a feather. Yes, it does. Arm light on. Power lever right idle. Brake propeller must not feather. Well, that feathered as well. Okay, so it says, obviously this isn't working or I'm doing something wrong. Power relievers advance to 25 psi torque. Auto feather test switch on. It is on. Power relievers right idle. Right propeller feathers. Right idle. Right propeller feathers. Okay. That's to 88 in an auto for the test switch off. There's the fire bell mute. <laughs> uh, arm light on. This yeah, this isn't working. I'm gonna discontinue this test here. I'll have to look over that more to do it properly. Power level lever micro switch tests. I don't need to worry about that. Anti ice systems test. So power lever is idle. Bleed air left and right on. Bleed air left and right on. Pneumatic low pressure light out. We're gonna put these up to flight idle. It started raining again. What the heck? Okay, flight idle. Okay, so that light goes off. The ice boots. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, what are we doing here? Auto zoom. This boots manual. 
inner outer wing toggle. Okay, left right stabilizer toggle. Stable de ice light left and right on. I don't see a light. That's off, that's manual. All oh, these. Huh. A stabilizer. Maybe auto? I don't know. Anyway. De-ice boots as required. Power levers advanced to 80% NG. Intake deflector extend. 80% right there, yeah. Intake extend D ice doll's eyes EXT. What the Oh this is it right here, extend. Retract. Okay. Blank. Power levers idle. Okay. Bleed air left and right as required. We'll leave those on. Generator left and right off. Those are fine. Generators off. I'll have to turn the generators off. Check on battery load increase. Ah, okay. Propeller de ice. So that's just checking your. So you'd go ahead and you check your windshield heat as well and everything on your battery with your generators off. I think that's what they're saying. Okay, before takeoff checks, trim tabs set. Let's see. They look all right. Flaps 10 degrees. 10 degrees should be sufficient. Flight instruments check. Okay, radios are set. Prop levers are full forward. Auto feather is on. It is now. Select light on. Landing lights, taxi lights off. Engine instruments checked, they all look okay. Lead air left and right is fine. De ice, we can hop back up there, fire some of those on. Turn on auto slow. We'll do the wing inner, and then we'll do the left stabilizer prop intake. Wing inspection light, we don't need that. That's retracted, that's okay. Okay, lineup checks flight controls free and correct. Appear to be okay and free. Transponders on, landing lights, I just turned them on. Strobe lights. That yeah, doesn't do anything from my honeycomb, so I gotta do it from up here with the strobes. need all these on. Okay. Caution lights is appropriate. Runway and heading checked. And after takeoff it has a whole check here as well. We'll go through that. It's flaps, auto feather, climb power, nose wheel steering centered, yaw damper on, signs, landing lights. After takeoff 400 feet so Londa's traffic, November 3, 4 Kilo Hotel, taking off runway 28, departure to the west. Uh, Londa's traffic. Air flaps are set, our lights are on, our auto feathers on, pumps are on. Good to increase the power. <coughs> Really getting 
pushed around there. <laughs> there we go, eh? Really messing with us there. It looks like we have some frame issues. Okay, there we go. Okay, so after takeoff, flaps can go up and then we can mess with our power. That's what it says here. Just put our flaps up. Auto feather can go off. Just keep that nose up. Come back on the power and the props. Come into the green, get for best rate. Climb power set, nose wheel steering centered at auto centers. So we're okay there. Yaw damper will turn that on. That's what it says. Signs as required, landing lights can go off. Okay, just watch our climb here. And then it goes all the way to descent checks in the manual, so go ahead and do our cups check as well. Gas is good, undercarriage can tap those brakes. And I figure we can turn on to course as long as we don't hit the mountain. Looking for our best rate, I believe it's a hundred indicated. Our best angle, best rate. Overcorrect there a little bit. Does it fly better with the yaw damper? I don't. I need to look into that a little more. We didn't get no crashes yet. That's good. Um, I also turned off my mouse and keyboard lighting. Not the actual lighting, but just the, the programs that you set the lighting with. So, I don't know if that has something to do with it. I know the old adage with running Flight Simulator, you want the least programs possible open, right? So, I mean, I got VPilot, I got FSE, I got FSU IPC, I got... OBS recording, so we got a few things open. <laughs> Just climbing real nice. Okay, just watch that speed. Apparently the ceiling's around 56. Oh, push that speed a bit too high there. The nose. Oh, we're getting thrown around now. Might be catching some of that mountain wave. I don't know. Look at this. Threw us right off here. Get back onto course. We're still correcting a bit, but that's. Now we're going for best angle. You see our speed is about 90. Seems a bit more stable now. Until that.
So yeah, I'm hand flying the aircraft right now. In case anyone wants to know, and climb best angle, flap 0, 89. 89, best rate was what, 1, 103. Push that nose down a bit, we're losing some speed here. We gotta climb, we gotta climb. <laughs> After taking on a lot of ice, seem to be losing speed. Push that power a little more. Keep our props where they were. We must be. We must be taking on ice. Okay, we got some speed now. Nose pointed down. So much for that VFR day, I was saying, eh? Too much power in now. So every time I get set in motion, I get thrown off by the turbulence. Okay, there's our 9,000. Oops, too much pressure on the yoke there. Power, a little bit there. Okay, we're gonna go Somewhat stable now, we'll go autopilot there, altitude and nav. Jeez, that was uh, some exciting hand flying there. I believe we got some icing, so what I'm going to do is try to get out of the zoom here. So we'll go wing outer fast. Back to right stabilizer. It doesn't mention anything for cruise, just descend checks. So put our cruise profile here. Put the props back to 75. And our weather seems to be playing with us again here. I might go back to real world weather now that I'm in Iceland. I don't know if it'll make any difference. We'll go 35 on here. It should be economy cruise. So. Ah, no, we'll go 42. our correct readings. 91's okay on the altitude. And we'll check our meter TAF for our BIAR. It says VFR light range for the same 2932. Let's set that now. 
right. So I got 35 on my SciTech, so that looks good. Okay, quite a shaky climb up, wasn't it? Wasn't the most fun, I'd say. So yeah, next it reads, descend checks, fuel quantity selector, check and set. Hydraulic pressure check, caution lights check, de-ice as required, altimeter set. So, an approach before landing and after landing. Looks like both my NDBs are working, so that's good. Fly right to this AR, and before that, we'll make our. I think we're about six miles out once we're there. Six, yeah, about six miles, so. About ten miles till there, then we'll make our descent. When we're at 10 on the GPS there, we'll start our descent. Maybe 15. Alright, there you have it. There's some of the checks. Jump into external for a minute, and I'll be back. Wing inner we need. Go back to that. Okay, back to external.
Alright, I'm back. Back, back. Looks like our window's icing up here pretty good. Let's head over here and turn on our windshield heat. Clear off some of that. We're about 16 miles from... From the airport. It's reading on my... The VOR, but 14 from the AR. 13.6 and 3.3.4, yeah, that's correct. We could probably start our descent soon. There's the airport down there. Seeing the POI. So we'll dial in our altitude here. Down to 3000. VS on. On to VS mode. Look at the weather changing. Hallelujah. We'll come back and go to 10 here and we'll run our descent checklist as well. So, fuel quantity selector, check and set. Yes and yes, looks good. Hydraulic pressure, check. Okay, looks all right there. Caution lights, check. They are appropriate. What do we got there? Pneumatic low pressure, that's fine. It's the throttle. The ice is set and the altimeters are set. Slow down here a little more. Your VS to go down at least a thousand per minute. Hopefully that weather doesn't change again. It's under about five torque pressure. You can do a GUPS check as well. Gas is good. Undercarriage can tap the brakes. Props. We'll leave them where they are till we're on final. It switches. We can go landing lights on. And pumps are on, and we forgot pedo heat. <laughs> the whole flight, we forgot to turn on the pedo heat. I didn't see it in the checks, I don't know. This weather is very indecisive today. I'm not sure I like what it's doing to my frames either. I wonder what the uh, Microsoft weather's like versus the Rex weather right now. I wonder how it models Iceland. And there and now our airspeed seem to warm up there, so give us a correct reading. I need that descent, descent, descent. <laughs> ourselves up. Uh, what is it? It's 188. So Bravo India Alpha Romeo traffic. This is November 3-4 Kilo Hotel Type Twin Otter. We are 8 miles east inbound to land uh, straight in visual runway 19er. We'll report final uh, runway 19er for uh, November 3-4 Kilo Hotel. I, I can't say the name of the airport. I have to use the identifiers. <laughs> uh, KO identifier. I see A O. Down to 2,000. Ooh, that's a bad number. <laughs> and 
descend a little quicker yet. Okay, now it's turning us towards the airport there. Someone just texted on Vatsim. Leaving the cockpit for 15 minutes, he says. That down to 1,000. Okay, there, there's our turn. Ooh, we're really in low visibility here, aren't we? I don't know how this was VFR. Matter of Taft says VFR. <laughs> okay, approach check. Signs on, landing lights on. They are on. Nose wheel steering before landing. Yaw damper can go off. Do all that in our cups check, if I remember the yaw damper. I would take control, but I can't see the ground. There's the runway lights, here we go. Okay, we're gonna go props full. Okay. Bravo India, Alpha Romeo traffic. Remember, three, four kilo. Four miles final to land runway one niner. Look ups check, gas looks good, undercarriage tap to brakes, props are full, landing lights are on. Terrain. Flaps we can go at twenty degrees. This is a this is not VFR whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what kind of VFR they thought this was. That's not VFR. Okay, so we're too red, we're not aligned properly, but seem to be on the glide path. Nice picture there, eh? <laughs> nice long runway, at least. Chop that throttle back a bit. Minimums, minimums. there. That runway is basically in the water. That is incredible. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10.
actually a smooth touchdown. Big flaps can go up, pedo can go off. Strobe lights should also go off. Can't reach them right now. I don't have the chart for this air airport in front of me right now. Can't see it being too complex though. Turn off our landing, turn on our taxi lights. Bravo India Alpha Romeo traffic. Uh, November 3-4 Kilo hotels clear the act of taxiing to the ramp. Bravo India Alpha Romeo traffic. We're in a park right here. Right where the air marshal's marshalling us in there. Stop, he says, or she says. There's the weather changing again. All right, what'd you guys think of that one? A little shaky taking off, not VFR at all. <laughs> um, my FSE log there, so parking brake set, radios can go off. Power levers idle, propellers feather those, it says here, this is straight from the manual, generators off. You guys like subscribe I'll keep releasing videos love playing at uh, MSFS fuel levers off we go right and we'll go left that comes up amateur window comes up <laughs> and it says uh, boost pumps off I think you probably do one and let it go all the way down, then do the other, maybe? I don't know. And it says lights can all go off there. And we can go on external here. Keep the power on if we'd like. The control lock in. Jump back in our view here. Showcase view. Just put us in the engine. Yeah, we're just on external power, so that's why all that stuff's on. I do have the avionics kill switch off. I don't know why that's still... All right. No, we forgot the yaw damper, didn't we? <laughs> we did. I did. All right. What do you guys think? A little bit of shaky shaky. I think I'm going to go with the MS weather tomorrow. Or the next time I fly. plan to fly tomorrow, but things change. Well, we made it. Um, a little gray and rainy. This is Accu... Accurary? Accurary? Accurary. I don't know. I'll have to look at one of the YouTube videos and learn how to pronounce it. Nice little place out here. Accurary, B-I-A-R. Drop off our three passengers here and then Keftivac. Look at that. Off the propeller. What's that? <laughs> Alright. Like, subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great wonderful, productive day.